Hey YouTube, Lucky here from the lab and today I'm going to bring you a video talking about what I'm going to title how to get carried in the trials of Osiris. Now I use the word carry lightly because I don't mean it to offend anyone or to say that anyone is incapable of going in any sort of way but there are some people that we have played with that sometimes have trouble and that's why they come to our raffles and that's why they choose to uh, play with us and try to have us help them go to Lighthouse. And it's just a simple, um, we play a ton of trials and we do raffles and we try to help people. And I'm making this video so that people who want to enter our raffle have the best possible chance of success when they play with us. Because ev we want every single person that plays with us, every single person that wins the raffle to go to the lighthouse. And so this video is for those that we're going to call, you know, quote unquote, the heaviest carries. The people that have... Um, we'll say very low elo or very low KDs or even just very low experience in trials. Some people play with us and they've only been playing trials for, they've only played two or three cards of trials. And so this video is more for them than anything because sometimes people win the raffle and they are by no means a carry. Some people win the raffle and they have a lot of experience, a lot of times to lighthouse and it's just a fun, easy run and none of this really applies to them. But sometimes people win the raffle and they are in desperate need of going to Lighthouse and we want to give them the best possible chance of success. So the first thing I'm going to say are the three rules that we always talk about. Rule number one is stick together. If you run, if we spawn on this side and we all run to the left, you need to run to the left too. If we run to the right, you run to the right too. If we go to the middle here, you come to the middle as well. Now I don't expect you to know all the callouts in the map, but we will be giving out callouts constantly. This right here is the ring. This is the river, that's the cave, and so on and so forth. You'll find that every single part of the map has a callout. This is where the heavy spawns, and we will be giving callouts all the time to each other. I'll be giving callouts to Bob, and Bob will be giving callouts to me. And if you know some of the callouts, that might help you a little bit, but we don't expect that from you. All right, but rule number two now is that we want you to get the revives. Now, why do we want you to get the revives instead of ourselves getting the revives? Well, one, you getting the revives will help us to have a consistent strategy. Sometimes we play with people and what we do is when someone dies, like if I die or if Boyp dies, the other person will be a distraction. I, if Boyp dies, let's say an example, I will be in a, a distraction. I'll shoot at the enemies, I'll throw grenades, I'll do everything I can to keep the enemies distracted while you go for the revive. And so in that sense, we have a very consistent strategy. If we made the other person, the third person that plays with us, do the distraction, he or she may not be able to understand exactly what it takes to distract the enemies. They might expose themselves too much and get killed. They might not uh, distract them very well at all and end up getting us all killed from an enemy collapse. And so Boyp and myself have practiced this so much for years now. We've been doing this and we know exactly what we're trying to do to keep the enemies distracted, keep the enemies occupied while the third person we're playing with picks up the revive on either Boyp or myself. Right? And so that's the second rule, get the revives. And the third rule is just pick up the heavy. You may not want to use the heavy, you may be anti-heavy and a few people are, but we're going to have you pick up the heavy and again the same thing will apply, we're going to distract them. We don't want to leave the heavy sitting there and let the enemies pick it up, pick up rockets, etc. And we don't want to um, get into a cluster of all three of us scrambling and all three of us standing right here and picking it up while some guy from over there throws a Nova Bomb at us, right? We don't want any of that. And I'm in a mayhem match right now, so the heavy's in a different placement. The heavy's right there and, and right there across the way. But in elimination or in trials, the heavy will be right here. And so that's why I use this as a reference point. All right? And so those are the three basic rules. And there are a lot more rules than that, for sure. There's a lot more things that we go over and a lot more things that we um, do to have success in the Trials of Osiris. But those are just the three basic, I'll say, principles that we use in order to do that. Now, not everyone can be capable of doing all of that, I understand. But those are really quite simple if you think about it. One, just follow your teammates. You have a radar. You know where they're going. And two, get the revives. You can see where the bodies go down. And three would be pick up the heavy. As long as you know where it spawns, you know what to do. Walk up, hold square, pick up the heavy. If you died trying to pick up the heavy, at least you died trying to do the right thing. If you spawned in on the heavy round and ran the wrong direction and didn't even shoot anyone or do anything near there, then obviously you did a very, very bad thing and, and we're not going to probably win that round and we might even lose that match. All right, so those are the three basic principles that I'm going to say for trying to quote unquote get carried in trials, All right? Now the next part I'm going to go over is more advanced. So this is for people that have a little bit more understanding of the game, a little bit more uh, knowledge, a little bit more playtime of the game. What subclass should you use if you want to play with us? The answer is simple. Defender. 
There's nine different subclasses currently in Destiny, and Defender is absolutely the best for team-oriented gameplay. Defender, use this setup right here. We use Magnetic Grenade or Suppressor, suppressor Grenade. Um, increased Control, Armor of Light, War Machine is fine. You could use others, but War Machine is fine for um, being inside the bubble. Bastion, use everything across the top, untouchable. All right, this setup right here, along with Alpha Loopy, if you have Alpha Loopy on, will drop three orbs and help you to get those revives extra fast. This will do really, really well, okay? This will this subclass right here, this is perfect for trying to be our third teammate. We know what to expect out of someone who's using a defender bubble, and they have a few, they have three different ways they can use the defender bubble. Defender bubble option number one is if a teammate goes down, if Boyup goes down in a very exposed spot, or if I go down in a very exposed spot, you can come up to that spot and bubble that spot and then revive him to help yourself get it. If there's two snipers over there and Boyup or myself is down right here, you can put the bubble down to get the revive. That's option number one for the bubble. Now, using a bubble is fairly easy, super easier than most because you just push the buttons and you have territorial control. So. We choose to give the person that we're playing with, if they're a very new player, very inexperienced, we choose to, to give them the option of using Defender as our number one priority. They don't have to though, you can use whatever class you want. If you're an amazing Night Stalker, be a Night Stalker. If you, your favorite class, even if you're brand new and you don't really feel comfortable with Defender, you'd rather be a, a Striker, that's totally fine. Be a Striker. But being a Defender, if you're trying to get carried, if you're a he quote unquote heavy carry, that's going to be the go-to. Okay, you, one option one is put the bubble on the enemies. Option two is put the bubble on top of the heavy. Okay, this is where the heavy spawns. Run up and put the bubble on the heavy. That makes it really easy to grab that heavy. And that's gonna be perfect for that. And um, cause the heavy round is a very crucial round. It's a round that um, can be won and decided uh, very easily with just a bubble alone. You know, a bubble on the heavy, that's pretty much a guaranteed round. Now, obviously, the enemies could golden gun it, fist of havoc it, whatever, storm. There's a variety of different things, but putting a bubble on it is a pretty solid way of owning that heavy round. And so we always encourage putting the bubble on the heavy. And the third and final option that we give as a reference point is putting the bubble down on the overtime point. Some people like to sit in their spawn, way back in their spawn there, and they'll farm scorias and they're farming golden guns and who knows what else they're farming. And we're not really interested in going all the way back in their spawn and trying to put a bubble there at all. We're going to put the bubble down right here, right on the overtime point for Elimination or Trials of Osiris. And this will own the objective point in Elimination or Trials. And this will help you to capture this overtime point while we, wipe and myself, don't leave the bubble if you're the defender though. Don't leave the bubble. Never leave the bubble. Die in that bubble. All right. Me and Bob will keep, stay here, keep posted, keep them out of challenging you and you'll capture the overtime point and they will lose that round okay and so the bubble is excellent for territory control one for revives two for heavy and three for overtime those are the three objectives those are the three territorial objectives that happen in elimination and in trials and so for those for those obvious reasons you're going to want to use your bubble for that now there are a variety of other things and strategies that I can give you when we play the Trials of Osiris, but I'm going to keep this video short and precise so that everyone can follow that information and hopefully that helps you. If you have any questions below, post them down below in the comment section and I'll try to answer any and all of them. If you want to enter our raffles to get uh, carried on PS4 or Xbox One, we have raffles for both. Make sure you look in the description below. We'll have links to both our Twitch where you can follow us and enter our raffles. And we'll have links to our Twitter where you can enter our golden ticket raffles for Monday. And you can have a guaranteed chance of going to the lighthouse. And that's pretty much everything. Thank you guys and gals for watching. Have a good night and stay saucy.